Hi everyone, thank you all for joining us tonight. If you remember from last week, I'm Sean Desmond, the coordinator of vocational and career education here at Brockton High School. Tonight's presentation is going to focus on the Chapter 74 vocational programs, along with the SOAR program, which is our partnership with Southeastern. During tonight's presentation, there's going to be a lot of specific information. So if you have questions, please feel free to put them into the live chat, and I, along with the vocational teachers, will be here to answer your questions. All right, let's get started. To talk about our vocational programs, we have our CTE guidance counselor, Gloria Rubelar. This presentation is to talk about vocational education programs offered by Brockton High School. Vocational education is part of career and technical education. Let's watch this video to learn a bit more about what career and technical education is all about. Everyone wants kids to be ready to take on the real world, right? So what's the secret? Say hello to CTE. CTE is career technical education. Maybe you've never heard of it, but CTE gives learners an academic foundation along with technical skills and hands-on experience in a whole bunch of different areas to help them get ready for the real world. Think of CTE as a high school experience, but with even more value because it fills a big gap for a lot of students. In fact, CTE learners and their parents are three times as likely to say they're very satisfied with the ability to learn real world skills as part of their education as compared to non-CTE learners and their parents. And since over 75% of CTE learners enroll in post-secondary education after high school, CTE is definitely creating a path to college and career success. And get this, they have a graduation rate over 10% higher than non-CTE students. Did you know 89% of parents think students should receive more education about career choices while in high school? That's where CTE comes in. Think about it. Is it better to experiment with career choices when you're paying money to do so in college? Or should it happen in high school so students know a lot earlier whether a career option is the right fit? The answer is fairly obvious, don't you think? Now let's talk about why CTE is good for business and industry. It's pretty simple. Companies want skilled employees, and they're having a hard time finding them, which can cost a company money in lost productivity. Enter CTE. Six of the 10 hardest to fill positions are in technical fields or require a CTE background. In fact, about half of all CTE learners are enrolled in programs in leading fields such as healthcare, STEM, and information technology, matching employer needs with student passions. CTE programs directly connect learners in high school and post-secondary with employers through internships, apprenticeships, and other meaningful on-the-job experiences. When it comes to CTE, more than twice as many CTE parents report being satisfied with internship opportunities. That means a lot of doors are being opened for kids. So here's the bottom line. Parents want their kids to find a career they can be passionate about. Kids want the same thing. And when you think about the real world, what could be better than having learners enter a field they know is right for them with a ton of hands-on experience? It's all possible thanks to CTE. CTE, learning that works for America. To learn more, visit careertech.org. CTE programs, or career and technical education programs, represent a great opportunity for students here are some facts from the U.S. Bureau of Statistics. CTE grads make 19,000 more per year than grads with associate degrees in humanities. Most of the country's fastest growing jobs during 2022 will be in CTE fields. Nationally, three out of four CTE students continue into college. Between 2012 and 2022, there will be over 50 million job openings for CTE grads. CTE prepares students to be college and career ready by providing core academic skills, employability skills, and technical job-specific skills. Brockton High School offers a number of CTE programs and CTE courses for career exploration now we are going to talk about the vocational education program. This is how vocational education looks throughout high school at Brockton High School. In grade nine, students begin an exploratory process in which they rotate through our three shops, automotive, construction, and graphic 
design and printing technologies. They also begin a career, academic, and personal reflective process through MyCAP curriculum. By the end of grade 9, students apply for the shop of their choice, and in grade 10, they begin their technical training in it. They explore the business aspects of the industry and begin polishing their soft skills. They also continue their career, academic, and personal development curriculum through MyCAP. By grade 11, the students get additional technical training in their initially selected shop. They complete a general safety and industry-specific safety training and receive their first industry-recognized certifications through OSHA. They build a resume, attend a career fair, and practice their interview skills. Qualified students at this point might begin internships. My cap continues. In grade 12, students complete the vocational training, participate in internships, register and test for auto industry certifications, and continue with my CAP curriculum up to graduation. The options after program completion are to apply for an entry-level job, to continue their education at a technical school or technical college, and to continue their education at a regular college. Students in vocational education receive a high school diploma, a certificate of vocational training completion, and various industry-recognized certifications. Throughout this process, students always work in developing technical skills, building portfolios, and also work on career, academic, and personal development through MyCup. Now we are going to talk about the three shops at Brockton High School. Let's refer first to graphic design and printing technologies. Graphic design is the organization and visual representation of information developed through a creative process for a particular purpose. In this particular program, students may acquire the following skills. They become proficient at the use of design software, they develop image editing skills. They become efficient at the use of various printing tools and machines. They learn the fundamentals of digital typography, including terminology. They manage and produce projects, and they understand the importance of collaboration and collaboration tools. Throughout my three years of being in graphic design class, one thing that I have learned is being able to use the Adobe programs efficiently while learning various different types of techniques. One thing that I really like is being able to interact with the teacher while having fun and going out of my comfort zone when creating a project. Another vocational educational track at Brockton High School is construction technology. Throughout the program, students have the potential to acquire the following skills. Read and understand blueprints and drawings follow building codes and safety procedures, draw and analyze construction documents, work and apply various construction technologies and tools, estimate and carry over small construction projects, and develop critical thinking skills to be successful in the industry. The program curriculum is aligned with the New England Carpenters Training Fund, and students are eligible to become advanced apprentices upon completion of the program. Let's take a look at what that apprentice experience may look like for students. I've been here for about three years. 
helping out in all different departments. My main focus that I train in is usually doors and hardware, or cabinet install, interior finish. This week I'm out here teaching scaffold training. We're doing a 32 hour erector's training course and we cover a lot of different range of all the different types of scaffolding out here. We have a crew of 14 apprentices working on it today but I've separated them into two crews so that it's manageable. We took one lead apprentice and we make him the foreman. So he has to learn and he has to pick up all the stuff and he has to read the print. I don't tell him exactly every step. I'll correct them when things go wrong, but basically they need to understand what they're reading on a print so that they can erect everything. And when they get out in the field, they'll be able to pick up on that and do that themselves. I graduated from UMass Amherst with a uh, economics degree, and I did a little internship in an office building, and sitting in a six by six cubicle, I just couldn't do it. So I uh, came here and signed up looking for a career to do, and the carpenters took me as an apprentice. It's something I enjoy doing, you know, you get satisfaction at the end of the day when you've actually done something and you can see what was accomplished. We do a multiple of different trainings out here from welding, to cabinet making, form work. This particular area out in the back where you, we're working on the scaffold this week is our wood frame area. We have a place where we do structures, wood frame structures, teach it from stairs, rafters, all the different styles of wood frame. And we go on from there. Through my years out in the field, I had either been a foreman, a steward, or a journeyman carpenter working, and the apprentices that we got out of here were excellent. You had classwork of going through the studies and the material, but then you also went out here and you worked on it, building it, cutting it, and it was a whole different learning atmosphere, which really helped assimilate those things. Once you come out and you talk about it, then you go out and you actually do it. It's a whole different game. Our third vocational education track is automotive technology. In automotive technology, students have the potential to acquire the following skills. They can learn how to do vehicle maintenance, electronic diagnostics and repair, servicing brakes, fuel, exhaust, and suspension, service writing, billing, parts ordering, and inventory, rebuilding transmissions and circuits, and engine performance. It may be tempting to tinker with your car on your own when it breaks down, but for most people, the only solution is to bring it in to an automotive service technician or mechanic. These technicians troubleshoot automobile problems. They inspect vehicles like a detective seeking clues. While they use computers to diagnose some issues, inspecting parts and systems as they run through a long checklist is typical. Mechanics also have a knack for translating car jargon for car owners who need advice on repair decisions. Service technicians work with a variety of tools in grease-covered auto parts, sometimes in uncomfortable positions. Standing all day, lifting heavy objects, work for mechanics is physically demanding. They must take steps to prevent injuries. Mechanics work in car dealerships, auto repair shops, or may opt for self-employment. It's common for them to work on weekends, holidays, and to put in overtime. Employers prefer to hire technicians who have completed a vocational or post-secondary education program in automotive service technology, and they may also want you to earn industry certification later. It's just the first step to a career where you can let your passion drive you. We're sure that you have some questions at this point, but let us answer some common questions. How does the vocational program work? Well, you will need to fill out an application, and the program is open to all the students. How do I get into the program? Well, it is only limited to seat capacity, and you will be informed if you make it into the program. How does uh, this affect my option to attend college? Brockton High is a comprehensive high school. All the students are offered a college preparatory education, including vocational students. How would my schedule look? As you can see, during the first year, in your freshman year, your vocation exploratory will require only one semester and one out of the six periods that you will have class. So you can perfectly fit all your major subjects, English, math, science, history, and even foreign language. 
During your second year at Burton High, in your sophomore year, you will begin your training. Your technical training will take only one full period out of the six periods. So you still will be able to keep all your rest of your classes, like English, math, science, history, and still have foreign language and room for an elective. As you get further into the program, you will require more time in the program, but you will also have more freedom for your the rest of your classes, so you still will be able to have your English, your math, your science, your history, foreign language, and you still will have room for electives. During your senior and last year in the program, you will use two full periods for your vocational training. However, as you go further into your education through high school, you will require less time for your science and history courses. So you will have still space for your English, your math, your science, your history, your foreign language, and electives. Thank you, Ms. Rubilar. That covers our vocational offerings that we have here at Brockton High. Next, I want to talk about our SOAR program. As you have heard, the SOAR program is a partnership we have with Southeastern. It affords us the opportunity to offer more Chapter 74 vocational opportunities for students. As you know, we have automotive technology, construction technology, and graphic communications here at Brockton High. Through SOAR, we can offer nine additional Chapter 74 programs. We can offer automotive technology, computer and electronic engineering, cosmetology, culinary arts, dental assisting, early education and care, marketing entrepreneurship, medical assisting, and precision machine engineering. Before we get into the logistics of SOAR, I would like to show you some highlight videos of each shop. These are from Southeastern and available on their website. First, let's look at automotive technology. In the automotive technology shop at Southeastern, students develop the critical thinking skills required to properly diagnose and repair today's late model vehicles. Students learn how each system works both independently and jointly to provide the safest, most reliable vehicle possible. Through the use of computer-based curriculum, system simulators, school and customer vehicles, state-of-the-art service, and diagnostic equipment, we practice the skills necessary to service and maintain the vehicles of today and tomorrow. From brakes to engines to cosmetic services, automotive students learn to service cars from bumper to bumper. We learn the entry-level skills needed for career in the ever-expanding automotive technology industry. We are automotive technology. Next, we have computer and electronic engineering. In computer and electronics engineering at Southeastern, students explore three related but very diverse areas, engineering, electronics, and computer science. Every day, we work in each area learning the critical skills needed for today's fast-paced technological world. Students in the program learn the electrical circuits, digital electronics, and the design process while working in the electronics classroom. The engineering curriculum develops the foundation for understanding the role of engineering through the successful completion of exciting projects. In computer science, we learn several programming languages and how to use the technology in many professions today. By combining these three disciplines, students understand the connection between physical objects, code that is used to power them, and how they can impact society. We are Computer and Electronic Engineering. Another shop that is always asked about is Cosmetology. In the Cosmetology program at Southeastern, students learn to become innovative, professionally trained individuals that are in constant demand in many areas of the cosmetology industry. The field of beauty is diverse. Students are able to work and analyze what the client will need in any area of hair, makeup, skin care, and nails. We have a student-run salon called Ready, Set, Style, where the students work on clients in a professional setting. This setting allows students to build the communication skills and hands-on skills needed to build a clientele and be successful in this industry. Cosmetology offers the experience of job shadow. This is held during the sophomore and junior years. The students will pick a salon they are intrigued by and go out and spend a day in the industry shadowing a stylist. They come back from this experience with a renewed passion to learn and be creative. Upon completion of 1,000 mandatory hours, students are eligible for the state board exam. 
where upon passing they will obtain their cosmetology license and immediately start their career through cooperative education. The courses we offer foster a strong work ethic as well as the life and technical skills necessary for lifelong learning and many rewarding career choices. We are Cosmetology. Through SOAR, we can also offer a Chapter 74 Culinary Program. In Culinary Arts and Hospitality Management at Southeastern, we have many opportunities to explore our passions for cooking and a flair for service in our state-of-the-art facility. Our shop allows us to showcase our unique creativity and passions through cooking and baking. The training that we receive in food safety, customer service, and culinary techniques prepare us for careers varying from chef to restaurant manager. We learn in a hands-on environment each day and operate a real restaurant that is open to the public. Our daily schedule rotates through the bakery, industrial kitchens, and the dining room, doing different jobs to expand our skills. One day we could be working as a line cook, the next baking pies, the next serving customers. We have the opportunity to work with business partners who are experienced in the industry, gaining valuable knowledge and skills to further our careers. The hours we spend working in the shop adds up as we pursue our Serve Safe certification after graduation. Our tasty creations and wonderful service bring happiness and joy to our customers. We are Culinary Arts. Next, we have Dental Assisting. In Dental Assisting at Southeastern, we have the opportunity to study many different aspects of the field and to work in a hands-on environment. This field is always changing, and at school, we adjust to advances in technology by working with digital x-rays and updating online computer records. In terms of traditional dental work, we practice pouring dental molds, taking impressions, making temporary crowns, and so much more. Every day we spend time focused on quality care. We work to understand and practice all aspects of business operations, including scheduling appointments and overall customer care. Going out into the industry, dental assisting students have many skills that cross over to other health-related fields. The impact we have is endless as we work to change the lives of our patients throughout their everlasting smiles. We are dental assisting. Moving along, we have early education and care. The Early Education and Care Program at Southeastern provides students with a firm foundation in the study of child growth and development. Students learn the tools to identify appropriately developed behaviors and key milestones from birth to age 7. We build lesson plans and interactive activities, taking our work directly into the classroom and watching students develop their own skills firsthand. We learn to assess student growth according to the standards set by the Department of Early Education and Care as well as the National Association for the Education of Young Children. This program trains us to work in a fast-paced environment. It helps us build up our skills and prepares us for externships in kindergarten classrooms. This program is incredibly rewarding for students because we get to work one-on-one -on -one with students enrolled in the preschool on campus, teaching motor, language, and social skills each day. It's easy to see the lasting impact teachers and caregivers have. We are Early Education and Care. Next is Marketing Entrepreneurship. In marketing and entrepreneurship, students are guided by real-world experience in both the creative and business sides of the industry. This program provides students with a wide array of training in marketing, business, and digital design. Our marketing and entrepreneurship students turn their big ideas into working businesses, collaborate with business owners and industry leaders to develop their entrepreneurial spirit, create and execute amazing media campaigns, and design and implement powerful marketing and management plans to solve real-world business challenges. We compete in a number of competitions throughout each school year, showcasing the skills students are learning and applying. We are marketing and entrepreneurship. We also have medical assisting. In the medical assisting program at Southeastern, we learn many different skills that will allow us to find employment as the demand in our field continues to grow. Graduates can be certified clinical medical assistant and enter the field right away. While still in high school, we learn the essential duties required for medical assisting. This includes drawing blood, obtaining vital signs, performing EKGs, CPR certification, and many more. 
While out on clinical externship, we learn important on-the-job skills. This allows us to learn about the field firsthand from physicians and other medical professionals. Going into the industry, we are qualified in a number of career fields, such as physical therapy, ultrasound technicians, pharmacists, physicians, and many others. Medical assistants work hard to encourage health and happiness in our patients. We are medical assisting. Lastly, we have precision machine engineering. At Southeastern, students in precision machining and engineering train to become highly skilled and sought after tradesmen and women in the rapidly growing manufacturing field. We receive a practical hands-on education utilizing up-to-date CNC technology in conjunction with manual equipment. During our time in high school, we have opportunities to work as entry-level machinists with a number of business partners. Our focus is on getting trade experience in different business settings in order to find our career pathways. Precision machining and engineering students learn how to flexibly and diligently prepare for high-stake careers such as working in aerospace, medical, telecommunication fields, and so many more. Every product manufactured at some time was touched by a machinist. The work that we do will help the growth and progress in the technical manufacturing world for years to come. We are Precision Machining and Engineering. How SOAR works is the same as the vocational shops at BHS and at Southeastern. Students apply to be part of the program. After they are accepted, they participate in an exploratory in each of the available shops. At Brockton High, our exploratory consists of automotive technology, construction technology, and graphic communications. For SOAR, the exploratory consists of the nine available shops that we just learned about. After successfully completing the exploratory process, students apply for and select their desired shop. Students are generally given their first choice, but it can vary depending on available space within the shop. After they are accepted into the program, they will take specific courses in that desired shop throughout their four years in high school. With SOAR, they will graduate with a BHS high school diploma and a vocational certificate from Southeastern. Now for the logistics of applying and the time commitment of the program. For application purposes, you need to apply for both Southeastern and BHS vocational programs. This gets your name on the list for each school. Students that apply for Southeastern, but are not initially accepted into their day program, are placed on Southeastern's waitlist. Those students are then afforded the opportunity to participate in the SOAR program. After those students are afforded the opportunity, we look at the applicants from BHS and extend the opportunity to them as well. Now, the time commitment. The program runs three days a week from the end of the school day at BHS, around 2 o'clock, until 6 p.m. That means students attend school at BHS for their academic courses, then travel to Southeastern in the afternoon to participate in their vocational training. Students are transported by bus from BHS to Southeastern and then are brought back to Brockton. It is a significant time commitment, but can be a great opportunity. As of this presentation, we have about 100 students that are currently enrolled in the SOAR program. Next year will be our third year, and we will be looking to accept another 100 students. This means that spots are limited, and if you are interested, you need to make sure you complete an application. If you think this is a great option for you, please let your guidance counselor know. Applications are currently live and are being accepted on a rolling basis. You may also discuss these options with your guidance counselor when you are participating in your scheduling meetings to discuss your high school plans. I know that was a lot of information, but it's all important. If you are interested in applying for either of these programs, please see your guidance counselor. The application is also available through the infographic you received and is available on the BPS website. Please tune in tomorrow night to hear more details about our Innovation Pathways Healthcare program, or join us on Thursday to hear more about all of the VCE electives we have to offer. Again, thank you for joining us tonight. Enjoy your evening. Thank <laughs> you.